All right, this is how the Turing machine insert that I designed works. First you take the notepad, put it in, the score pad, then you put the little spacers, put them in. Um, you then put these cardboard pieces, which you shouldn't need anymore, but I mean, you, I mean, you could use them still if you really wanted to, but I don't. Here are the um, criteria cards. Put it this way so that the cards face the box so that they won't slide out. Here's the verification cards. Put it this way. Again, against the box so that they don't slide out. This box of player trays, I mean, I don't play this game uh, multiplayer. I play this game pretty solo, just more like a crossword puzzle in the newspaper in the morning. I know you kids probably don't know what that is anymore, but um, that's kind of more my attitude towards the game. And I think it's very fun that way to wake up your brain in the morning. And I take these for the actual punch cards and I put them in here. I'll sit nicely like that. And I'll put these last two in in a second. Let's see how this one where I place the punch cards in, see how it's slanted, right? Right here. I want the slant facing this direction. So I'll put this down in here like this. Then I'll put these two like that. Uh, I'll take these extra cardboard pieces that I'm not using and I'll put them right here. And we could also take the dry erase and put it in here anywhere we want. Take the solo console that you can print out that I made also. You put it right there. It just fits right in. Kind of holds everything in place actually. Um, I do have this score sheet that I've printed out, which I like to put in here. And I just use the dry erase and write on there. That way I'm not wasting the, the score pad or any additional paper. But what I do is I take this and I'll just fold it up and put it in here. Rule book, put it right on top. And bam, there you go. If you notice, uh, also there's minimal lid lift.